Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today we continue the previous topic of the compliments. All right, uh, compliments. And today we basically discuss uh, one's compliment and two's compliment. But before that, before that, let us have some simplification to the formulas. All right. So, so in case of the r minus one's complement, we have the formula uh, r minus one complement. We have the formula r to the power small n minus capital N minus one. And you know what these are from the previous lecture. So if I write this like this, r to the power n minus one in this bracket n minus the capital N. This capital N is the original number. So I simplify this thing, this thing for the uh, normally used bases, all right? So let's say the base is 10. If I have 10, and let's say for, uh, for the n is equal to 4, basically we deal with 4 bits. So for n is equal to 4, for n is equal to 4, and now r is equal to 10. This thing, this, I'm simplifying this thing, r to the power n minus 1, all right? So this thing would be 9999. Uh, 9, 9, 9, 9, all right? For, for, for r is equal to 8, this would be 7, 7, 7, 7. For r is equal to uh, 16, this would be f, 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 f. And for r is equal to 2, the binary, this thing would be 1, 1, 1, 1, all right? So which means you subtract the original number from these things, all right? For n is equal to 5, let's say we check, for n is equal to 5, uh, or, or, or if we start from the very basics, for a, if, if, if your n is equal to 1, so this thing r to the power n minus 1 would be what? So 10 to the power 1 minus 1 is a single 9. Base uh, is 10, so this would be 9. If this uh, is 8, base is 8, so this would be 7, all right? And similarly, if you have n is equal to 2, so you have two digits. You have n is equal to 3, you have three digits. You have 4, you have four digits. So let us simplify this, all right? So depending on the n, you have that number of digits. Uh, uh, digits would be equal to n, the number of Digits uh, in this r to the power n minus 1 would be equal to the number of digits in the required number, all right? And similarly, what would be that number? Uh, what would be that number r to the power n minus 1? So that would be the base minus 1. The number would be base minus 1. And how many digits are repeated? That is equal to the original number. Let's say, let's say we have an example. We have an example. One's complement of 1010 one, zero, one, zero is needed now. And, and we also know that the R's complement, R's complement is equal to R minus 1's complement plus 1. All right. Now let's say we, we have an example where we need the 1's complement of 1010. One, zero, one, zero. Alright? 1010. One, one, so this is 1's complement. Here we have for base 2. So first we find the R minus 1's complement. Alright? So 1010. One, one, okay. Now have a look. We This is for base 2 and this is for 1's complement. So this is for R minus 1's complement. Alright? So which means 2 minus 1. So, so this would be what? This is the ones complement, which means this is in order to it. Now have a look. The, the number would be what? This r to the power n minus 1 would be what? The number would be its base, minus 1. So the base is 2 and minus 1, so this is a 1, all right? So that is the number, this number, okay? And how many digits does this number contain? So that depends on this. 1, 2, 3, 4, this contains 4 digits. 
So we have 4 over here. Now this is this r to the power n minus 1. All right? To the power n, and then what? The number of digits are from here. And we subtract, we subtract this number from it. Minus 1, 0, 1, 0. So 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So now if you have a look at this thing, the complement is what? 1's complement basically is just the opposite of the bits. For 0, 1, for 1, 0, for 0, 1, for 1, again 0. Which means this is a simple application of the NOT gate. Of the NOT gate. We'll be studying these gates uh, uh, later on, inshallah. But the NOT gate do what? It inverts the bit. This is how it is represented. If you give it a 1, it changes it to 0. If you give it a 0 as an input, it changes it to 1 at the output. All right? So 1's complement is the application of what? Of the NOT gate. And I, I hope you are clear with this thing, how to find it. Okay? Now two's complement. Two's complement. How do you find a two's complement? So 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 I can have it. Uh, I can find the one's complement simply by inverting the bit and add what to it. Have the two's complement from this formula. Okay. So two's complement would be it would be one's complement plus a one. Because this r is 2, so r minus 1 would be a 1 and plus 1. So 2's complement is r's complement plus 1. If you need 2's complement of the same number, 2's complement of this number 1010 is unknown. So you already have the 1's complement of it. You simply add 1 to it. 0, 1, 0, 1 and you add 1. So 1, 1 is a 1, 0. This would be 1 and 1 and 0. So the 2's complement is 0, 1, 1, 0, right? That's about the 2's complement. We have a shortcut to find the 2's complement. Let us see, okay? Okay, so I have written down the steps for, for uh, the shortcut of 2's complement. But before that, let me tell you one thing I always forget, uh, that why don't you subscribe to the YouTube channel? So if you're watching this video, give me a second and do subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're watching it on Facebook, like the Facebook page and follow us over there also, okay? Back to the topic. So, the choose complement. The method is four-step method. You write down the given number for which you have to find, starting from the LSB. LSB is the least significant bit, which means the rightmost bit. Copy the zeros till the first one arrives. Then you copy the first one and complement the remaining bits. You know this? That's all. Let's have an example. For example, uh, 10111, You have to go from right to left, all right? So what do you do? Uh, the right on the for a given number is done. Starting from the LSB, this is zero is the LSB, copy the zeros till the first one arrives. So you have a zero, you have a zero, you have a zero. The first one has arrived, all right? So step number two is finished. The third step, copy the first one. Copy the first one, okay? And the next step is complement the remaining bits. Complement means what? You invert them, which means the not operation, the not gate. Uh, so this one is implement zero, this one to zero, this zero to one, and this one to zero. So this is the two's complement for this number. Okay? Let's say we have another example. 101100. 101100. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Now we do what? The rightmost bit. You start zero, 00. The first one has arrived, you copy. The next you uh you do what? You inward. Now a question arises, a question arises, what if the least significant bit is a 1? What do you do? Let's say we have an example. Let's say we have 101001. Now what do you do? You pause the video over here. You think over it and find its two's complement. Okay? Now you're done. 
if you have, if you have solved so have a look now the fourth bit is a one which means right and the given number is done starting from the lsb copy all the zeros till the first one we don't have any zeros we have nothing to copy you directly copy the first one we directly came to step number three the step number two finishes all right and complement the remaining bits so complement them all right one one zero zero one zero so this is its two's complement form all right uh, now uh, the homework for you is to to check whether this shortcut is actually valid or it's not all right so so let's say let's say let's say i i take a i take a simple one uh, or i take uh, one of them let's say i take this this number and i, I do it through the steps that we discussed okay one zero one uh, one one and uh, zero zero so let's say uh, the the ones complement of this number is what ones complement is equal to zero one zero zero one one okay now for two's complement you add one to it for two's complement you add one to it so one one is a one zero one carry all right one one is a one zero again one carry one zero is one and then zero and then one and then zero so have a look the two's complement is zero one zero one zero zero which means this shortcut method is absolutely correct all right and that's all for this lecture okay so thank you very much for watching and do subscribe to the youtube channel and like and follow us on facebook as well uh, see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye